Things around you and in your life are more desperate than you think. And if you don't act accordingly, there will be major consequences. What's up guys, this is Ben from Provoke and Inspire and this is a quick hit where I take something from culture or context or honestly just something that I've been thinking about in my life and I ask the question, what would Jesus think and what would Jesus do and hopefully in five minutes or less. All right, let's go. As my wife sat next to me, bleeding profusely, my mind was racing and my heart was beating fast. I pulled up to a long line of cars and without hesitating, I hit the gas pedal and sped onto the curb riding over the grass and gravel, narrowly avoiding the road signs and other cars. I still remember the faces of those I passed, half angry, half confused. The hospital was just across the road, and honestly, I didn't care what people thought. I was gonna get there at any cost. Soon, the adrenaline was gone, and we sat silently in a sterile waiting room processing the miscarriage. A few months later, after the grief had faded, I found myself waiting at that same intersection. And as I sat patiently in line, I was struck by how bizarre and extreme my actions had been on that day. At the same time, it was obvious I would do it again. Life produces moments when normal simply won't work. And it's always been this way. Two blind men sat on the side of the road. It was just another day. But then they caught wind that Jesus was passing by and this changed everything. They began to shout, Lord, son of David, have mercy on us. This wasn't normal. In fact, people started to yell at them, telling them to be quiet. But these beggars were punks. They started to shout even louder. I can only imagine the faces of the people around them, half angry, half confused. Soon they got Jesus' attention and he wasn't bothered at all by their desperation. It says in Matthew 20, 43, Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes and immediately they received sight and followed him. Too often we go through life patiently enduring our blindness. Our life may be spiritually shallow and unfruitful. Our friends and family could be walking away from God, yet we sit patiently in line at the intersection. We may not be physically blind or in an emergency, but our situation is every bit as desperate as the two beggars. We need a revelation of Jesus' miraculous power to heal and transform. Only he can set us free and reach our families and change our lives. It's time to get a little reckless. It's time to get a little desperate. At times, we may need to jump a curb or yell like a punk. But honestly, when we understand our condition and Jesus' power to save, we will see that nothing makes more sense. All right, well, that is it for Provoke and Inspire Quick Hit. I hope it was encouraging to you. Talk to you next time. Peace.